Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got some news for you guys. I got some news for you. How out the presses. Hot off the presses. Well, maybe not because it's later on in the day. But it, it, I got some news for you. <laughs> uh, yeah, so right when I got off the live stream, I, I thought about like just turning on the live stream again and doing it all over. But I had to work. I needed money. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like I, I was like, okay, let me. Um, so when I got off the live stream, I got a message. The message came through my app. I'm like, okay, cool. The message was, you know, I, somebody from the safety and trust team had reached out to me. They said, hey, we're going to be contacting you over the phone. Stay by your phone so we could talk about the incident. I'm like, cool. Cool. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, cool. I reset my number. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm waiting on them to contact me. You know, spoiler alert, they never called me. <laughs> they never called me. Yeah, I'm still waiting on the phone call. Maybe they'll call me tomorrow. But today, as of today, they said that they were going to call me. They never called me. But, you know, whatever. So I'm like, all right, cool. Since he's since they're reaching out to me through the messages, the customer support email thingy, I'm like, all right, cool. Let me just check my account and see if I'm online. Yep. I was able to take a request. Not only was I able to take a request, I took a request and I accepted it. So I'm like, oh, I'm back in. You know what I'm saying? I'm back in. If you, you know, I'm feeling good. I'm back online, you know? <laughs> they contacted me, didn't really ask me for my side of the story. But hey, look, as long as I'm online, that's what matters. If as long as I can go online and make my money, that's what matters. So I'm like, all right, cool. Let me let me do my thing. Let me do my thing here. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I, I accepted the ride, and I didn't really believe that I could really take the ride. So when I accepted it, I accepted it without the intention of going to it. So I'm like, I, I was just trying to see if I could, you know, because my my account was deactivated. You know, I said deactivated. They said hold. Whatever. It, it was what it was. It, it, it was, you know, I couldn't actually take rides. So it was kind of weird. I was just checking to make sure that it was actually active. So yeah, I canceled that ride because I was just like, yeah, look, I'm, I'm not, I didn't really plan on taking anybody. <laughs> I was kind of sitting down chilling. I really didn't think that I was going to get the ride. So I canceled that ride. So I'm like, all right, cool. You know, let me chill out. I left the app on, you know, maybe about another 10 minutes. I didn't get any pings. So I was like, okay. So in my mind, I'm like, okay, cool. I'm clearly online now. Yep. I'm clearly online. So now I'm like, let me, you know, like, let me start readjusting my day. Because y'all know I work certain areas when I'm doing delivery as opposed to doing ride share, ride share. The, the areas are different. There's different hot spots for ride share as opposed to delivery and vice versa. So I was like, you know what, let me let me readjust myself. Because if I'm doing ride share, if I'm doing Uber and Lyft, then I need to be in a prime area for Uber and Lyft, you know? So um, I start going to my area. And then while I was driving, I get this little notification. It says your account is on hold again. I'm like, golly, y'all ain't even let me get a whole 30 minutes without letting me be active. You know what I'm saying? Like, I couldn't be online for a whole 30 minutes before y'all playing games with me. <sighs> and then again, I get this next message again from that little customer service thing. Uh, so we need, before we can reactivate you, we need you to send pictures. So I had to take pictures of the front the back, the side, and, and both sides. I had to take zoomed out pictures of, of the car, basically, to show that the car is still good, functioning, and all of that stuff. <sighs> I sent those pictures. I'm like, all right, cool. I sent them immediately. Let's see how long it takes. So now I'm in hustle mode, in hustle mode in the sense of, I done been, you know, they done played games with me. So now I'm just like, I'm back to doing deliveries, you know. So I got my Instacart on, you know what I'm saying? I'm shopping. I got my Spark on. I'm I'm shopping too. I'm doing some shopping pays. 
I, I got I got my DoorDash on. I'm taking orders. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm 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 in that vibe. I'm in that mode. I'm in that mode of doing deliveries. You know, getting out the car, doing my thing. You know, I'm trying to hustle. I'm trying to make money. Uh, and yeah, you know, maybe like a couple hours later, then I get this message and it says, "Okay, your account is now back active. You're back approved." I'm like what? <sighs> so this one passenger not only deactivated me <laughs> this one passenger must be told them that i got into an accident must be told them that something crazy happened because not only did they deactivate me they deactivated my vehicle like it's just crazy like i'm so interested in what this passenger told them because he had to tell them that i i just i i don't know from my understanding because they made me take pictures of my vehicle to show that it was active and not actually wrecked. Like this guy had to tell them that I was a crazy driver. I ran up the sidewalk or something. Like, I don't know. <laughs> but my whole thing, my whole thought process is whatever he told them, <sighs> and it obviously was crazy because he wanted his refund. So I'm guessing just the, you know, just asking nicely didn't work when he was talking to the chat bot. <laughs> but he apparently went in deep. Like he just threw me all under the bus and backed up all over me. All over, all over $6.50. This guy told him, he didn't just back up over me. He backed up over my Tesla. You know what I'm saying? Like, <sighs> that's crazy, right? It's okay to do stuff to me, but when you start doing stuff to my Tesla, come on, bro. I should crash out for that. Nah, I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But it's just like, damn, that's crazy. The car ain't even do nothing to you. Now you talking trash about the car too? Because... <sighs> <laughs> He, he didn't just say I was a bad driver. I was a crazy person. Now he telling me, he, I guess he told them something about the car because they made me have to take pictures of the car and re-verify that my car is active and, you know, normal and not and damaged and all that stuff, which is crazy to me because I've never been in this type of situation. And it was all over $6.50. So yeah, I'm going to be honest, you know, I, I always try to be honest. I don't know why I say I'm going to be honest cuz yeah. <laughs> it's just it's just a, it's just a saying at this point. It's it's reaffirming what I'm, I don't know. Look. I $6.50 isn't worth it anymore. It, it's just not worth it. And this is crazy for me because my my income used to be a small percentage, twenty, thirty dollars of my income used to definitely be cancellation fees. It hurts me to say this, but cancellation fees just ain't worth it no more. And it sucks. All of this that I done went through because of six dollars and fifty cents. It's crazy. This guy done threw me under the bus, done rolled me, rolled over me. Backed up over me, rode again, all over six dollars and fifty cents. Like, yo, you would have thought I pistol whipped them. You would have thought I, I I knocked out their grandma. Like, this is the type of stuff that you do to somebody that runs over your dog. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, this is your worst enemy type stuff. Like you want to see that person dead. This this is how I feel. Like Buddy felt like over six dollars and fifty cents. Six dollars and fifty cents. I'm gonna keep saying that because I, I I need y'all to understand how crazy this is. All of this work that I done had, all of this this whole situation is just because I had a cancellation fee. It charged him a cancellation fee because his all of the stuff that he was trying to put in my car didn't fit. The guy before me told him it didn't fit, took off, didn't charge him. So when I got there, 
Of course, I'm going to charge them because that's just what I do. Like I said, a good portion of my income used to be cancellation fees. <sighs> but fortunately for the guy that left, he, he didn't get in my situation. Because this guy done threw me all the way under the bus. Over six dollars and fifty cents. Again, you would have thought that I I got him deactivated. <laughs> you would have. I mean, like I don't know, man. Like honestly, like I if I was about that life, I would figure out where this guy works and I would write reviews and stuff to corporate. Cause this this is what he basically did. He went way up there. He tried to get me deleted. <laughs> <laughs> Delete it from Uber and Lyft. He tried to unalive my 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 existence on Uber and Lyft. That's crazy. Over six dollars and fifty cents. So <laughs> I don't kind of ramble, but the point of this video is kind of like a follow up to tell you guys. So after all of that, <laughs> all of that today, it took it took multiple hours. I was going back and forth with customer support because I'm like, yo. This is crazy. One complaint, one complaint. But yeah, after all of that, all going back and forth and all of the other stuff and you know, all of the all of the pictures that I had to take, the multiple pictures because they kept saying that the pictures weren't enough. So I'm like, okay, cool. You said zoomed out, so <laughs> then you want them zoomed in. And it's just like, what do you want from me, man? Like, <laughs> you want me to show you a video of the car rolling around or something like <sighs> It, I, I don't think that the, the support agent like my like my humor because I was just like, what do you want from me? Like, you want me to take a, a selfie with the car? Like, <sighs> but after all of the pictures, after the whole process, I am back active on the Uber platform, and yeah, I I, I started back taking rides. So, yeah. The update is I am no longer deactivated. I'm no longer on pause or hold. As Uber said, as I said, deactivated. I'm no longer deactivated. I absolutely cashed out my money as soon as possible. And again, just a reminder, I do recommend that if you are on the Uber, Lyft, DoorDash, whatever platform you're on, cash out your money <laughs> or have the uber pro card the dasher direct card for doordash the lyft direct card for lyft uh amazon flex debit card if you're on flex uh i can't think of the other one <laughs> have have their card because it automatically transfers your money because you if i was if rent was due and I was just trying to build up that amount so that I could just pay rent out of the, out of my bank. You know, when I transfer the money, I'd have been screwed. Because when they do it, when they deactivate you, there's no warning. You don't know. There's no, hey, we're gonna deactivate you at three o'clock. You just deactivate it. And like I showed you, it can happen at any given time. And you don't know how long the process is gonna take. Like I said, is it, 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 I I feel lucky, I feel blessed because it only took a day. <laughs> it only took a day for them to get me back on the platform. It could have taken longer. It could have been much more. Now again, behind the scenes, I was messaging support all day, so I don't know. Maybe that helped. I don't know if that helped. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but whatever the case is, it could have been longer. So. Again, you know, now the, the whole follow-up is that I'm back on the platform, but hindsight is 2020. What I get deactivated for is stuff is retaliation. This whole situation was retaliation because he got charged six dollars and fifty cents. I only got four dollars out of that. I didn't actually get the whole six dollars. So the four dollars that I got, was it worth it? No. <laughs> and I hope I'm telling you guys this. So, you know, thank you guys for your support. Thank you guys to everybody that, that gave me positive words. Because, <sighs> yeah, it's just, it's just frustrating. One passenger complaint. And I had to go through all of this. 
And again, if rent was due, if light bills was due, if you know I had a kid and they needed food on the table, I'm stuck like Chuck until they finally decide to continue to finish their investigation. That's a horrible feeling. Horrible feeling. So I hope you guys never have to experience it. But yeah, with that being said, I have rambled. I just wanted to make sure that you guys got the update. Uh, yeah, tomorrow will be normal videos again. So yeah, with that being said, man, I appreciate all of the support. I love you guys. Talk to you later. <laughs> Deuces.